All right, lastly, family. While this list is not all inclusive, we believe it does provide a picture of what happens to so many of us adult children of dysfunctional families. So I want you to listen to this list you now intently if you can. Some symptoms developed by children, adult children. This is emotionally and psychological, okay? Depression. You hear me? Depression. Okay. And these are some of the things that I realized that, um, well, let me just keep going. Number two, anxiety and panic attacks. Suicide or suicidal thoughts. Obsessions and compulsions. Chemical addictions. Low self-esteem. Personality disorders. Phobias. Hysteria, sexual dysfunction, suspiciousness, intimacy problems, disassociation. And I work on suspiciousness um, a lot. That is something that um, has uh, is an ongoing challenge for me. Is I'm a very suspicious person, and I believe it's directly, it's a direct result of my early upbringing. Okay, flat effect, difficulty concentrating, excessive anger, get too mad, go from zero to 60 for nothing. You know, you get so mad about it. Ooh, why he gets so mad about it? Remember Jeffrey Osborne? I hear you. How he gets so mad about it? All right, low frustration tolerance, passive aggressive personality, extreme dependency. Inability to be interdependent, the inability to play or even have fun, inability to be assertive, people pleasing and approval seeking, identity confusion. Wow. Now, now, remember, those are emotional and psychological, okay? Emotional and psychological. Physical symptoms may be a chemical dependency, an eating disorder, accident-prone and chronic pain syndrome, Tension and migraine headaches, respiratory problems, ulcers, colitis, and digestive problems, constipation or the other extreme, diarrhea, sleep disorder, muscle tension, And TMJ, which is stands for temporal mandibular joint disorder, because they tend to be so common for adult children, we will take a brief and close look at these symptoms. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that, and that you thought about these and wrote these down, or. I probably should have said it at the beginning of the but you can always go back and challenge in the pit of your belly where all these symptoms come that from that you are exempt 
will find that you are manifested in your life. Where are they coming from? Because I have to do the work. And sometimes I, I, I see it's never too late that it's all coming from a very insecure or, you know, here's what I'm trying to say, y'all. And I, I think I can just make it easy. What I, what I think I know so far is this. You can only operate off of two principles in the universe. You can only operate out of love or fear. That hate and all that other stuff and that emotional charge stuff, all that come, comes out of fear. Those are responses to it. Or either you seek or love, which is the highest form. So when you see a person that's operating out of fear, you're going to see all those symptoms. And most of them that I, you know, also talked about earlier, you can see those attributes in the person. Fear is... You know, what if I stop doing this? What if I challenge? I get that pit in my stomach every time I hear somebody mention a rape or a molestation that I've never talked about. But every time I hear it, ooh, I feel like somebody dropped a weight or punched me right in the gut. These phenomenons are real, people. They real. You know, and I'm not an expert. Ain't trying to be no therapist or no psychiatrist. All I'm saying is let's get a grip because the more we sweep around our own door, our own environment will possibly leave this world a better place than it was when we got here. And hopefully that, you know, that that can be a goal. Okay? So with that being said, if you like what you hear, I know this was a long video, but I wanted to do it in three parts like this because it's very important that I took my time and um, talked about this because we really got to get serious, y'all. 2019, still got to stay serious about our mental health because we got some trying days ahead. And we can't get nowhere. Can't fly with broken wings. And I want to encourage each and every one of you under the sound of my voice to get well, to get strong. You can do it. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.